All right, guys, as you see, I've got Tom's profile loaded up here. He sent me his July 4th opening. Gotta love my bro. Let's go ahead and see what happened. He ended up having a good amount of champions to open. As you see, there was five five stars on the screen. Let's see what he got. My Tom has so many maxed out five stars. I think he's up to like 12 or 14 now. So it's like. He's not looking for much. He's looking for certain things now. And I can guarantee you Red Cyclops was not one of them. Guarantee Red Cyclops was not one of them. And it was a first time awakening. So I mean. Silver Star, Six Star Shards, but still annoying as hell. This opening is now sponsored by Kabam Mike. That one's not bad. Depending on the SIG level or First Awakening, that one's not bad. Took him to 40. I'm, I'd be alright with that if I was Tom. So, and so far, one dud, one good. He's got three more. Here's hoping the rest aren't duds. Because if they're duds, he is going to be pissed. Captain Sparkles. So, I mean, good champ. I think he's already got a maxed out. Okay, I was way wrong. 63. He was he was probably pretty happy with that. I can almost guarantee. He loves him some Captain Sparkles. He keeps telling me, Matt, take Captain Sparkles in to do that Mr. Sinister in 622. You won't have a problem. Yeah, well, I'm not that smart, apparently. But, Act 6, once I get un, uh, uncollected done this month, is going to be first priority before I even worry about Master and Heroic too, too much. I'm not messing with it. <coughs> Alright, so two good ones and a dud so far. Let's see what came in number four. Squirrel Girl! She's pretty decent. I'd be happy with that five-star pool. There you go. So, got himself Squirrel Girl. Insta-bleed. Decent champ. Really should be pretty happy with that one. Very good synergies, too. The one with Luke Cage is absolutely amazing. Hers with Luke Cage, if you tank, I believe. I know you have to tank an SP3 with his uh, uh, Unstoppable or Indestructible. And then I think he gets 60% attack bonus or something like that. I'd have to go look again. A lot of good champs. And now we're getting to the crappy ones. You know, like a Jugs. And I knew he, he's he got Jugs. He's got Jugs at R4. RA know it. Sig 60. So, th a 3 I'd be happy with. And 2 I would not be. Alright. So... Here's his six star opening that he did. Blow it up a little bit for y'all so you can see it a little better. He ended up with eight five stars. I don't know if he did any nexuses or not, but it was. I know definitely it was these eight. I, I'm guessing he didn't do a nexus. Or if he did, it's at the end. I don't know. Now, see, that one he needs to be happy with. That's a good pull. Stealth Dude Spidey is a six-star. That's something you can definitely work with. Oh, yeah. 
So that's a good pull. He had been hoarding for a while. He's been doing stuff with uh, our buddy Prof Off on openings. His last opening, Prof Off commentated for him. So, all right, six star number two. Let's see what we got going on here. It's spinning, it's spinning. Ugh, ugh, oi. Spider Gwen, okay. I'd be all right with a Spider Gwen. Now, this one was too long. He had to email it to me, so the... It's going to be a little pixelated, a little rough, but it shouldn't be too, too bad. But two for two, in my opinion. Spider Gwen is definitely something you can use as a six star. Absolutely. Very usable, very good pull. All right, six star number three. Again, he's... I equate his openings a lot to Beavers. He's looking for specific things, certain champs. Nebula probably isn't one of those champs he's looking for, but she's a decent six star, one of the better ones. So three for three on good pulls, in my opinion. Whether he agreed with that, I don't remember. We talked about it. I don't remember his overall attitude towards the opening, unfortunately. But he's sticking with the same plan. A little infinity symbol. Let it sit for a second and then drop her. It's worked on the first three. Let's see what number four has for him here as he hits the halfway mark. Stealth suit Spidey, he cannot get away from. Oy vey. He was doing good until that. Oh my god. Load of dung. i have been a little pissed about those silver stars. Not gonna lie. Everything I was in that reel only dupes that. Ugh. I'll call him mid to lower class. I mean, first time he's getting him, I guess that's okay, but it's it's not anything you're getting hyped up for any reason. He's just he's just a six star champ, really. So the last two, uh, I'll I'll lean towards the bad for that Miles Morales. So the last two have been pretty bad. Number six. So the first three were decent, pretty decent. Last two have been crap. Oh my god, not another one. How did he not snap his phone at this point? Oh my god. That was bad. And now we have the invisible reel again. Remember that. Remember the invisible reel. I'm pretty sure he had noticed it at this point. It was like, what the heck? This time he got... Okay, Man-Thing. man thing, something you can work with. Definitely work with Man-Thing. So the... There we go. We're back on the good track now. There we go. Man thing is something definitely you can work with. So guaranteed he's got more good champs than bad champs now. Doesn't matter what happens. Actually, no, it'd be 50-50. Four good, four 
even if this one's bad, it's four and four. I think he's kind of hesitant just in case because of the reel this time, truthfully. But, okay, reel's back. You know, I'd almost like not having the reels better, truth be told. Then you don't see the pain of it rolling over somebody you really want. Eh. I mean, it's a, that one I'd put in the same category as a Miles Morales. It's a meh champ. It's not anything you're going to write home about, unfortunately. But, I mean, it is what it is. He got the two dupes on Cyclops. Absolutely freaking.